योर क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्व वॉट दे हैव गिवन फाइव माइनस एक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो दे हैव गिवन जस्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वन बाई वन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड यू कैन सी दिस इज योर इन इक्वेलिटी साइंस तो इन इन इक्वेलिटी वॉट वी हैव टू डू फर्स्ट वी हैव टू असेस दैट whether the quadratic equation is positive or negative so you can see here minus x into x is minus x square you can see minus x square now sin is minus that means we will get a maximum point so now we will draw our graph like this Hmm? Now, <clears throat> now we will find out the value phi minus x is equal to zero and x plus six is equal to zero. Here we will get phi minus x is equal to zero. That means you will get minus x is equal to minus phi. X is equal to we can say it's a phi. And for x plus six. That is equal to zero. That means x is equal to minus six. Now minus six will come at the left side, and plus will come at the right side. Here we will write minus six, and here we will write five. Now we will check the inequality sign. That is greater than zero. That means we have to move toward the positive side, upside. so you can see we have to move toward this side this is your upside positive now if you check it after minus 6 if you draw a line like this what you will get toward this side you will get minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 and so on that means x should be greater than minus 6 x should be greater than equal to minus 6 here you will get this but if you go this side from 5 you you will get 4 3 2 1 that means less than here you will get x should be less than equal to 5 so second equation <coughs> we will check again what is our quadratic equation whether it is positive or a negative you can check here minus 3x and 2x if you multiply that you will get minus 6x minus 6x that means again you will get the same graph like this maximum peak now find the value of x from first and second equation what you will get 1 minus 3x that is equal to 0 again you will get minus 3x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 1 by 3 and the for second factor what you will get you will get 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 here you will get 2x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 by 2 now minus sign is always left of positive sign here you will get minus 1 by 2 and here you will get 1 by 3 now check the sign in inequality sign you got less than 0 that means we have to move towards the negative side we know that negative side is where here downward again negative sign is here this way so our equation what we will get we get x should be what less than minus 1 by 2 here what we will get x should be greater than x should be greater than 1 by 2 now just we will try to form both the ranges here so what we will get here 
you can see x is greater than 1 by 3. If you write x in the center, what you will get? x should be greater than 1 by 3. And here you will get x is less than minus 1 by 3. So you can see here the greater number is there x should be greater and here they have told x is less than minus 1 by 2 that means it will not form the range there is no range now but if we check here what we will get first we will see <coughs> x is less than equal to 5 first less than equal to 5 and here they have given x is greater than minus 6 greater than equal to minus 6 now you can see minus 6 in the left side and right side is 5 that means it forms a range here 